dispelling speculation about her departure on Atlanta's Real Housewives. With the debut of season three of Peacock's Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip on Thursday, the reality star made her come back to the Real Housewives universe. This is her first television appearance since Portia's Family Matters, a seven-episode Bravo spin-off that she oversaw after departing RHOA in 2021 after nine seasons. Williams exclusively tells PEOPLA about her return, saying, Although it has been a while, it was pleasant to have a tiny taste, a tiny twang, of this world once more. Even so, occasionally you may feel a slight sting. Williams is well aware of that. She left RHOA a few months later. Though viewers were unaware of this when Gobadaya and Williams announced their romance shortly after season 13 concluded. The two were already divorced from Pina by the time they began dating. Williams' statement that she was leaving RHOA only served to fuel rumors that she had stolen Pina's husband, and some people even said that Williams was frightened of being held accountable on TV. Williams' personal life has undoubtedly seen many ups and downs, as seen by the cameras on RHOA. When she originally appeared on the show in season 5, she was married to former football player Cordell Stewart, However, she soon found out via a social media post that he was divorcing her. When Dennis McKinley, her former fiancé, cheated on her, their engagement ended. Williams tells PEOPLA, I've dealt with a lot of harsh things on the show. And I've been there with the camera on to film at the start of every season. Therefore, no, that was unrelated to this. Rather, Williams claimed that she decided 14 months in advance that she would not be returning to RHOA for season 14. I had already decided that it was time for me to step away at least six months before I told any of the executives what I was going to do and long before I even met my now husband, adds the woman. As I approached my 40th birthday and reached my 10-year milestone on the show, I realized that I needed to reevaluate my situation and my goals. A portion of that can be attributed to the positive events in William's life, such as her union with Gobadiah, 58, and her close relationship with Pilar Jenna. But it also helps to go outside the reality TV bubble. Williams, who co-stars on RHUGT with Leah McSweeney of Real Housewives of New York City, Giselle Bryant and Candie Stillard Bassett of Real Housewives of Potomac, Heather Gay and Whitney Rose of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, and Alexia Napolao and Mary Sol Patton of Real Housewives of Miami, says, Think about it, I'm the only one on the show who wasn't currently on a show. I was a genuine housewife at the time, not talented at all, and I simply rushed into TV and got all caught up in these a part of that is explained by the good things that happened in William's life, such her marriage to Gubadia, 58, and her intimate bond with Pilar Jenna. However, Stepping outside the bubble of reality TV also helps. Williams remarks, Think about it, I'm the only one on the show who wasn't currently on a show. She co-stars on RHUGT with Leah McSweeney of Real Housewives of New York City, Giselle Bryant and Candy Ace Dillard Bassett of Real Housewives of Potomac, Heather Gay and Whitney Rose of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Exia Napola and Mary Sol Patton of Real Housewives of Miami, and she, says this to herself. I was a typical housewife at the time, very untalented, and I just hurried onto TV to get caught. Naturally, some of those old scandals surfaced, such as the Gobadilla rumors described before. Along with supporting Dillard Bassett, she also finds herself just eyeing remarks she made about the former RHOP co-star and rival Monique Samuels. Williams, though, didn't mind a little shade. She recalls, I kept it moving. The production greatly aided in achieving Peacock's goal of giving us the impression that we were actually on vacation for the ultimate girls' trip. It said, talk about whatever you want to talk about. Just have fun, break the fourth wall if you want to, discuss something from yesterday or ten years ago. I was enjoying myself immensely with these goals. It doesn't bother these girls to let their hair down. Regarding William's potential return to RHOA, she teases PEOPLA that she wouldn't rule it out, but that she would like a different experience than the one she had. It would be great if we brought back the RH UGT energy to these shows, says Williams. But hey, let's get rid of everything. Come to truly know one another. 
Together, let's establish authentic relationships and have a great time. Give up worrying about the camera. Simply have fun and be who you are. And I believe that if we did that, we would have more enjoyable, productive seasons. Following the debut of the 14th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Marlo Hampton made an appearance on Watch What Happens Live on Sunday night, and she didn't hold back when it came to spilling the tea. She even seriously disparaged the connection between Simon Gobadaya, the ex-cast member who was married to Portia Williams' former co-star, and her. Following years of guest spots on RHO, a Marlo finally won a peach. She then spoke with host Andy Cohen about a variety of topics, including Sanja Morgan's Fashion Week rejection, Candy Burris's financial claims, and more. She did, however, first say whether or not she thought Portia and Simon had what it took to succeed in the long run. They'd definitely have it as long as his money doesn't run out. I try to be sincere. She chuckled. Simon is going to write a long a paragraph about me tomorrow. Andy? Marlo played a game of the Marlo down on WWHL's live broadcast. She talked about her innocent encounter with Kiss rocker Jean Simmons and how she hooked up with someone in Bloomingdale's years ago. She also said that the most expensive gift she had ever received was an Aston Martin and looked back at Sanja's rejection, celebration of Fashion Week. Marlo did not elaborate on the events, but Andy stood up for Sanja, saying it was probably just an inadvertent slight. Marlo also participated in a game called Marlo, No, They Didn't, in which she responded to inquiries concerning the ERHO A Season 1 premiere. Following inquiries regarding Portia Williams sent Simon Gobadia, her separated husband, a severe warning ordering him to delete, hide, or change any evidence or documents pertaining to their financial records during their divorce, or face the consequences. RaiderOnline.com was able to in the February 22 Georgia divorce case filed by the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Williams requested that the prenuptial agreement they signed a few days prior to their wedding be upheld. Taking no prisoners, the reality star threatened her ex-boyfriend saying, you will not destroy, conceal, or alter any video, audio, paper, or electronic files or other data in connection with this pending litigation, including but not limited to any of the following items that are either presently in your possession or control or which may come into your possession while this litigation is pending. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Felin Gobadaya is at last talking about her ex-husband Simon Gobadaya's engagement to her old friend Portia Williams. The 31-year-old broke her silence on Portia and Simon's contentious relationship on social media. Her divorce was so recent that no one realized it had actually occurred. Portia Williams, who posted pictures of herself being intimate with Simon on Monday, acknowledged she was seeing him, as reported by Radar Online. Come. After barely one month of dating, the ERHOA star revealed hours later that they were engaged. More insult to injury. The Lynn, who appeared in cameos on Bravo last season, disclosed last month that she and Simon had broken up after less than two years of marriage. Felin addressed her Instagram followers in a sophisticated manner.